welcome everyone in this video lecture we will discuss about the operating region of n mos and p mos in a cmos inverter so i have already made the cmos inverter okay so in which the above transistor this transistor is our p mos and the lower one is our n mos transistor okay so in this one the output characteristics output versus v in everyone knows when the input is low output will be high when the input is high output will be low i am not discussing that operation so everyone plot everyone knows this type of curve will come for an inverter but what should be the operating region for the n mos p mos either it is saturation or linear or cut off that we have to determine in this lecture so first of all we are saying that this point some point will be there okay so this point is say vtn the threshold voltage of n mos i am writing here vtn threshold voltage of n mos okay and i am writing vtp it is our threshold voltage of p mos okay so for the p mos the threshold voltage will be negative so i am writing here vtp in the negative x axis okay so now one situation is that or we can say case one okay when v in of the inverter is less than equals to vtn okay when v in the input voltage less than the threshold voltage of the n mos so the n mos will be the n mos will be in the off state and p mos will be in the on state so that's why this vdd will come here okay and this will be open circuited so in this case we can easily say this p mos will be on and n mos will be cut off in this region s mos n mos will be in cut off okay in this region and p mos but we don't know about the p mos so that will be we, we will determine so p mos will be either linear or saturation that we will discuss okay so this one in one situation okay so for that purpose p mos is either linear saturation or n mos linear saturation we have to know the some facts suppose i am just drawing the id vds curve of an n mos id and vds curve so it is somehow okay so this value will be vgs minus vt okay so when vds value is greater than equals to vgs minus vt it is in the saturation region saturation okay in that side saturation okay and when vds is less than equals to vgs minus vt it is in linear region we can make it n okay or here also right n for n mos we are doing so in the subscript i can write we can write n and this one this region will be our linear region linear region okay so for the n mos so now for the if we are writing vds of n will be greater than equals to vgs 
of n minus v t n in saturation region. So from here we can say v t n minus v s n. I am doing step by step. Okay, so v g n minus v s n minus v t n. So we can say this v s n v s n will be cancelled out because this was having the source potential is grounded. So same value and v d n will be simply our v output. Okay, will be greater than equals to v in v g n will be v in minus v t n. So we have to draw this characteristics in the output input voltage curve. So for this one, we have to plot this line. This one is nothing but simply a line equation. So before that, I am just saying a line passing through origin having v output equals to v in line. Okay. Now there is also one line equation is there. We have to push to v in minus v t n. So this line will start from somehow there. So we can say v output equals to v in. Okay, minus v t n. So it will go down. So it should be v t n line. Okay, suppose I am just making a line y equals to x. Okay, now we have to draw the y equals to x plus one. So what we will do? We will just y equals to x plus one. So we have to add one unit up. So it will go one unit up. So it should be x plus one. Simple line equation. If we have to plot y equals to x minus 1. So y equals to x line is there. So x minus 1, 1 unit down. Okay. So 1 unit down. So, right. so it will go 1 unit down. So it should be our y equals to x minus 1. y equals to x line. Simple mathematics we can say. Okay. So we can easily say this line will be V output equals to V in minus V T N. So here what we can observe this one, this whole equation for the saturation condition of a NMOS. Okay. When this one is saturation. So here we can observe that above V T N, above V T N, when V output is greater, V output is greater above this line. Okay, above this line, V output will be greater. So I am just highlighting this one. Above this line, we can say yellow line, uh, yellow region is our saturation region because this V output value will be greater in this area. Okay, V output will be greater in this area, this arrow. Okay, so now this one is the condition. Okay, now similarly, if we find the value of PMOS, PMOS region for saturation, so we can say V ds of p will be less than here it should be greater it should be less than for p bar. so vgsp minus vtp okay once again we can write vdp minus vsp less than equal to vgp minus vsp minus vtp here vsp is our vdd so it should be simply zero so vdp will be vgp minus vtp and vdp that is our drain this in of drain of p terminal and this one is drain of n source of n this one is our gate of n 
gate of p source of p error signal is there symbol is there so it should be source one okay so vdp okay p mo so now vdp is our, our v output less than equals to vgp gate voltage v in minus vtp okay this one is also for saturation one both are for saturation this one for the n mos this one for the p mos okay this one for the p mos so now we have already find one more condition for the saturation so here we can say this n mos one n mos is in saturation region okay so in this case again we have to plot v out equals to v in minus vtp okay so if we plot v out equals to v in minus vtp so v out equals to v in line is there and we have to go for minus vtp okay so it should be our up so if we plot i am taking like that yes this line will be v output equals to v in this value will be minus and threshold voltage will be plus so it should be some plus value so it will go up okay because vtn suppose here this vtn is 1 volt and vtp will be obviously minus 1 volt for the for the, let we are assuming okay we are assuming this one uh, threshold voltage for the n mos 1 volt and minus 1 volt for the p mos so it should be minus minus plus 1 okay so here it should be our v output for n mos v in minus 1 so goes down somehow and v in minus of minus 1 so it should be v output v in minus of minus 1 that is our plus 1 so a line is this one so we can write this as a v output equals to v in minus vtp okay and minus minus plus so it should be this one okay so when the v output is here what we what we are getting v output is less than equals to v in minus vt so when this v output is less so this value will be come down means ever below this line below this line below this green line we can say the n mos will be uh, sorry the p mos will be in saturation so i am i writing this p mos this p mos will be saturation and in between so suppose this one this one some i am drawing the tangent that point is nothing but simply our v i l input low value to and this one will be our v i h okay so we can easily say this p mos will be in linear because in this case this p mos value will be not coming in the saturation region because for the saturation it will below this line below this line okay so below this line so it should be linear and in this case n mos will be now in saturation because it is lie in the yellow direction and p mos is still in linear linear work and in between this one both are in saturation n mos and p mos both in saturation okay and here the n mos will be in which one linear and p mos is in saturation okay and one more point will be there vdd minus of vtp 
So in this case, the P MOS will be cut off and N MOS will be in linear region. So we can easily identify using this concept. Or one more thing. And so the same thing I am doing in a large scale. V output V in you just draw some okay so one line that is our v output equals to v in and this one some threshold voltage of n and okay and this one will be say VTP line okay so again there will be some line will be there some line will be there okay so above this one above this one this above this one the NMOS will be in saturation saturation and here below this one below this line PMOS will be in Below this line, PMOS will be in saturation or in between both both transistors is in both NMOS and PMOS in saturation. Okay, so this point will be simply our VDD by 2 and the above line, this one will be VDD by 2 minus of VTP and the below line will be VDD by 2 minus VTN. Okay, this below line. So we can easily add, say the NMOS will be in cutoff, cutoff, and PMOS will be in linear. Okay, here the NMOS after that point, NMOS will be in saturation. Okay, and PMOS is still in linear region. Okay, in between both will be in saturation saturation okay and in this point in this point that is our vih point the nmos will be in linear and pmos will be in saturation and here pmos cut off and nmos in linear region so this is all about this characteristics one so you have to know the basics okay of a NMOS in which region it is uh, uh, saturation region or cutoff region or linear region so we have to know this equality then we can simply identify in which region it will be here so it is somehow quite difficult to Draw, but if you go step by step, so we can easily identify this one is the region for this type of CMOS inverter in which NMOS region is saturation, in which region PMOS is saturation or linear in which region, which can be easily identified using this concept. So, thank you for watching.